our okra in the first area of our garden is doing very well. It was companion planted with a tomato and you can see down here it shades the tomato during the heat of the day and yet the okra gets the full sun. You can see here a set of blooms getting ready. Down here each of these spots had an okra and this one is about ready to pick. We could let it go a little longer but the smaller they are the more tender they are. So I'm going to go ahead and pick this one. Here this plant's doing very well. It's doing the best of all the plants. Something is eating the leaves haven't found the culprit, but you can see there's a lot of, of munched area here. This is relatively new because there's not a white line there. So this is a new munch, but I don't see any caterpillars. I don't see the bugs that would be eating it. So I will have to keep an eye open see if I can figure out what is eating the okra. One of the first things I noticed was the hole. As I inspect the different plants, for example, here are the okra. See right here. Oh. And you remember I showed you the, the blossoms up top. Here we have an okra is already several inches long. I'm going to go ahead and harvest it so that the boss of the house can eat it before it gets tough. The okra is in bloom today. It's beautiful. And it has more okra to pick. Even though this one's really small, there's at least four others that are already coming out. So I'm going to go ahead and take this one. It should be nice and tender. This okra in area three doesn't get a lot of light. And it's only about two and a half feet tall. But it still has two okras for us to harvest this morning. You can see in here the stem, the fruit, and you can see here we have ant infestation here as well. I'll flick it, and they have just made a whole nest right in there in the okra. I'm going to wash them off. I don't want to put any pesticides here on the bloom. First, because I want bees or other things to come and pollinate it. But second, that's the area that we're going to eat. Ants are a nuisance, but in this case, they're not being destructive to the actual plant. I don't see that they're raising any aphids or anything like that yet. So I'm just going to keep washing them off. and try and control them that way. Here our okra in area four is doing well. It's all by itself here not companion planted, but it's sturdy. And here we have a very large okra. I'm going to get this right away before it gets tough. I think I'm going to go ahead and take this one also. I 
noticed this morning that this okra had a bloom. These blooms don't last very long. They're usually gone within a day. And here, just a few hours later, the bloom has closed up. We're going to go ahead and pick this okra. This one got away from us. It's a little too long. This is the ultimate in urban gardening. This is our okra in a bucket. I transplanted the seedling that I started from seed. I transplanted it into this bucket in March or April and it has stayed in the bucket. Because it's in the bucket, it's much, much smaller than the others, but we've still harvested three or four okras. In fact, this one had the first okra that we ate. Here is the bloom. We're waiting for it to open. Are small like this. The boss of the house just eats them raw. The medium sized ones are iffy. They might be tender if eaten right away, otherwise, they're just too tough. Once the okra gets big enough, it's too tough to eat raw. You can see the fiber and the string here. But the seeds inside are about the size of BBs. And taste really good. So you can just eat the seeds alone. We haven't tried other recipes. If you have any ideas on how to cook okra, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear how to use up some of this okra. We've never had success in growing it before. Now that we have some, I want to know how to use it.